here in this video we will see a problem on maximum axial pull and total elongation so here we have a question a circular bar of 500 mm length has a cross section as given below first 100 mm length has a diameter of 12 mm second 200 mm length has a diameter of 20 mm and last 200 mm has a diameter of 30 mm so we can see that this 500 mm is divided into 100 mm 200 mm and then 200 mm each having different diameters so the bar which is given in the problem it is called as a stepped bar next determine the maximum axial pull which the bar may be subjected if maximum stress is limited to 100 newton per mm square find total elongation take capital e is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square so this is the question we have in front of us let us try to get the solution for this problem if we look into this question there are two unknowns here first is we have to find out what is the maximum axial pull maximum axial pull we will denote it by letter p which the bar may be subjected and we have to even find out total elongation total elongation is delta l so these are the questions in front of us next when we are trying to solve this problem since the length has been divided into three parts having three different diameters so first it is, it is necessary that we start drawing the diagram so here first 100 mm has a diameter of 12 mm so i would be drawing the step bar this is the first 100 mm having diameter of 12 mm next second 200 mm has a diameter of 20 mm so diameter increases from 12 to 20 mm for the second part of this step bar and even the length is more here then last 200 mm has a diameter of 30 mm so after 20 mm the diameter goes up to 30 mm so here we have this step bar i'll mark the length and respective diameters the first length is of 100 mm next it is of 200 mm at last again we have a length of 200 mm now these different lengths they also have different diameters so here the first section it has a diameter of 12 mm next section it has a diameter of 20 mm at last we have a diameter of 30 mm so here what i will do i will divide this step bar into three parts diameter 12 mm will be the first part for us next this will be second and here third part then i'll read the question what is given next determine the maximum axial pull so here it is mentioned that this bar is being pulled by applying tensile force on both the sides so this is a pull type of load here next which the bar may be subjected if maximum stress is limited to 100 newton per mm square so sigma max is given that is the maximum stress 
Now, since the first question is we have to find out the maximum axial pull, what we can do in this problem is after we have determined the three sections, we can calculate their individual areas. So I'll say that since cross sectional area for all sections is given by cross section area for the first section that will be a1 is equal to pi by 4 into diameter square here the diameter is 12 so it is 12 square and this value comes out to be the answer which I have it is 113.097 mm square so this is the first area next area for the second section that will be pi by 4 into 20 square so this comes out to be 314.16 mm square. Then area for the third section, area 3 is equal to pi by 4 into 30 square. And this is 706.86 mm square. So these are the individual areas we have. Next, after getting these areas, the first question is we have to find out the maximum axial pull and in this problem they have given the value of maximum stress. Maximum stress in this problem it is given as 100 Newton per mm square. Now, this maximum stress will be acting at a region where the area is minimum. Because stress is inversely proportional to area. So stress will be maximum where area is minimum. And as we can see out of three, the three sections, the first section has a diameter of 12. So here the area is minimum, we can see. So I can say that the maximum stress would be acting at section 1. So next I can say that now since maximum stress will be acting at minimum cross-sectional area. So therefore I can find out the maximum stress. maximum stress sigma max is equal to the maximum axial pull upon cross sectional area and here the area I would be taking it as area 1 because area 1 has the least value and here the stress will be maximum. So therefore P will be equal to sigma max into area 1 here in this problem sigma max is given as 100 area 1 is 113.097 so therefore the value of p it comes out to be it is 113 or we can say it is 11.309 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. So now, after getting the value of load, here we can say that this is the maximum axial pull which is applied at the step bar. And this is answer number 1 for us. Now, in this question, we have to find out the maximum axial pull and total elongation. So the first part is over. We have calculated the maximum axial pull. Now total deflection. 
for total deflection here as we have a stepped bar we will calculate deflection in the first section in second section and third section after finding these three deflections we are going to add them to get the total elongation of this bar so let us start with this from the first section since elongation in section 1 is given by the formula of elongation is delta L1 I'll write it since it is for the first section is equal to PL upon AE I'll highlight this formula so therefore deflection in section 1 P is the maximum axial pull it is given as 11.309 into 10 raised to 3 length of the section for the first section the length is 100 mm area of the first section we have found out it was 113.097 113.097 into Young's modulus is given in the question its value was 2 into 10 raised to 5 so from this if I calculate I will get the deflection in the first section and my answer is 0.05 mm so this much is the deflection in the first section similarly we are going to calculate the deflections in second and third section so here I will write down deflection in section second is given by delta L2 is equal to PL upon AE for the second section so therefore deflection is equal to maximum axial pull we have calculated it was 11 point 309 into 10 raised to 3 length of the second section it is 200 mm area it was 314.16 into Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 so from this I will get the deflection in the second section and my answer is 0.036 mm after getting the deflection in the second section next is I will write down deflection in section 3 is given by delta L3 is equal to PL upon AE since we are finding for the third section so I am adding suffix 3 here so here I will go on putting the values so therefore delta L3 is equal to P is 11.309 into 10 raised to 3 length for the third section it is 200 area it is 706.86 and Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 so here my answer is 0 0.016 mm so after getting these three deflections in three different sections of the step bar we will add them up to get the total elongation so after this I will write down therefore total elongation is given by delta L is equal to 
डेल्टा एल वन प्लस डेल्टा एल टू प्लस डेल्टा एल थ्री सो यर आई गेट द टोटल एलोंगेशन देर फॉर डेल्टा एल इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एल वन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एम एम डेल्टा एल टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सिक्स एम एम डेल्टा एल थ्री जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स एम एम सो आफ्टर एडिंग दिस आई गेट द आंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो टू एम एम दिस इज माई सेकेंड आंसर एंड टोटल इलोंगेशन यर देर इज एन इंक्रीज ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ द बार बिकॉज दिस आंसर इज पॉजिटिव इफ दिस आंसर वुड हैव बीन नेगेटिव इट मीन्स दैट द बार इज कॉम्प्रेस्ड एंड द लेंथ इज रिड्यूस्ड बट यर इन दिस केस सिंस द स्टेप बार इज पुल्ड इट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द बार वुड बी इंक्रीजिंग बाय जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो टू एम एम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम एक्शियल पुल एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ अ स्टेप्ड बार